Guys, I have something freaking crazy to show you. Now, this man right here literally steals a bulldozer and goes out to destroy buildings, and it is an old man. I literally forgot his name, though, so whatever. And this is crazy to show you. I hope he does not come down here. Because I just got this new David Pearson NASCAR. And I do not want this to be ruined. Because blue is my favorite color. One of the best NASCARs I've ever got. One of my favorites. I don't want my video games to be gone. Because I cannot live without video games. Like... Because I wouldn't be able to do my walkthrough. Anyway, this guy is an insane psycho who, like, goes and steals a bulldozer ramming into buildings. He is nuts. Like, anyway, so this is recorded on TV with a video, with a TV show on Discovery called Destroyed in Seconds. Where it shows stuff that gets destroyed in seconds. So, anyway, I don't think that show is being aired anymore. You can see episodes of it on YouTube for free. Uh, um, the episodes haven't been copyrighted yet, so you, so you viewers watching this video better go to the destroyed in seconds episode and watch this. But before you do that, watch this video first. This insane man is just like a, a ten thousand percent savage, bro. Like, I do want to be savage, but I don't want to be that savage, like, like, you know, yeah. Well, anyway, here, anyway, what I want you to do, guys, look, I have 32 subscribers, my channel sucks. I, uh, YouTubers usually go for a lot of likes, so, if we can get three likes, yes, three likes, yes, I will do more videos like this, if we can get three likes okay that's all you gotta do that's it three likes and see if we can get three new subscribers as well because I need more subscribers for my channel so my channel can be a lot more known alright anyway this guy who steals uh, anyway this psycho guy who steals a boat oh my gosh I have a million notifications okay um Come on, where's... Anyway, guys, right here, this insane video that I'm about to show you is nuts. So this, this video is a psycho bulldozer guy who literally steals, who literally steals a bulldozer and rams a lot of buildings. Nuts, right? It's just total, it's just total bizarre. So anyway, I'm going to show you this insane video and you will go and you will go nuts too. So So anyway, here Anyway, what I want to say is hit the like button. We'll go for 3 likes and 3 new subscribers. That's it. 3 likes and 3 new subscribers. Another video like this is going to be made. So, anyway, that's the bulldozer. He, like, legit armed it so it wouldn't be broke. So, anyway, here is the video from Destroyed in Seconds. Here it is. planned citywide demolition project. But this plan wasn't put together by city engineers or construction workers. It's the brainchild of an angry man with a grudge against a lot of local people and businesses. They can't tell who's driving it, but there is someone inside. The man inside this armor-plated bulldozer is Marv Hemeyer. As horrified townspeople run for their lives, Hemeyer wrecks buildings and vehicles one after another. And he's ready to take on sheriff's deputies or anybody else who stands in his way. This is a bad situation, guys. We're going to 
requires an accomplished welder who spent a lot of time inside a secret workshop. Uh, yeah, it's only tape and metal, and you can't see who's driving or anything. There, he outfitted the dozer with two sheets of half-inch steel plating with a layer of concrete in between. On this day, he seals himself in and takes off on a violent ride. Inside his cockpit, two assault rifles, lots of ammo, and video monitors to help him see where he's going. A bank, a hardware store, a concrete factory, even the town hall, and especially the police department. The one thing all of those places have in common Meyer feels he has been wronged by these businesses or the people who own them. He even exacts revenge on the home of the town's former mayor. He does have armor piercing weaponry. Deputies and SWAT teams try everything. But even armor piercing bullets can't penetrate Marv Hemeyer's homemade metal and concrete shield. At one point, a heavy equipment operator decides to put a stop to the carnage. He climbs behind the wheel of his front-end loader and gets set to take on the armored bulldozer. But quickly, the operator finds himself in an industrial-sized game of chicken. Hemeyer speeds ahead, aiming directly for the blockage. Realizing his intentions, the loader attempts to flee, but the armored dozer gives chase. Ramming the tractor off its path, it steams ahead to its next target. Authorities seize the narrow opportunity, using the front loader truck to block the dozer in. The civilian operator hurries to safety. Forced to continue ahead, P. Meyer pushes his creation to the limit. The bulldozer grinds to a halt under the rubble of a steel building. Its engine has called it quits. As authorities try to get into the cab of his homemade tank, Marv Hemeyer takes his own life. It takes officers several hours and a cutting torch to finally get inside the cab. None of the townspeople are hurt, but the price tag on this rampage is about seven million dollars. Guys, I told you how nuts that is. It is legit crazy like anyway there are insane videos out there so you be careful where you live and I do not want this car destroyed it is my favorite car it's David Pearson like seriously this is one of the this is one of his greatest cars just look at this amazing metal they hardly do metal toys these days, so I don't want that dude coming. He is probably still in jail, so like... Like, this is insane of a bulldozer steal. Like, seriously, come on. Well then... Like, anyway, who would, who would do such a thing? Man, this guy is like a 100% savage. Maybe even more than 100% off the charts. So, guys, remember, three likes, three likes, three new subscribers, and I and I will continue to make more vi new videos. I will continue to make more videos like this. Three likes, I will make more videos like this. Three new subscribers, I will... Three new subscribers, I will... I will, um, probably do, let's see here, three likes and you will find, three likes and you, and I will make more of these videos, three subscribers, you will find a four leaf clover per, you will find three four leaf clovers per month, there is your deal, so three likes and three new subscribers, can we beat it, you, that's all I gotta do. Three likes is like the lowest numbers a YouTuber could go for. Just go for it, man. Well, yeah, like, duh. 
So anyway here, be careful where you live. If your town has robbers, if your town has tons and tons of robbers, like like it's a you can stay there if it has very little robbers, but if it has millions and millions of robbers or at least hundreds of them a year, I suggest you move to a different town that has less robbery. What I, I say I say um to stay safe in the country, I'd say to move in the country side instead of the city because more of the robberies take place in the cities because the countries don't have a lot of buildings well that's what I prefer you to do I like it here if I have, would have to move somewhere else I would move in the country so guys whatever you do hit the like button so hard do it so now, now, now before we end this video, go for three likes, three new subscribers, and, and when you get that done, I want you to turn notifications on. Yeah, like, you will see a bell. Click that bell to be notified. It's simple. It's simple. It is simple. Alright, so... So, three likes, turn notifications on, and three new subscribers. I know we can do it, so. So, anyway, here. I'm out. And I will make more videos like this.